I'm so excited because we're going antique shopping. It's just, you know, we're going to antique shop and let's see what gems they have because you always can find some good gems at an antique shop. One of my favorite, oh, they're all my favorite, the mirror. I love this mirror. I think I got that mirror for 120 and that might be a lot for a mirror for somebody, but those type of mirrors are not cheap. Like Anthropology has something like that and it's, it's in the thousands, okay? Uh, or if not, the high hundreds. So when I found that from 120, I'm like, yes, please give it to me, give it to me now. Uh, I love that mirror. I still do want that big old Anthropology one to put over a mantle because it's gorgeous. But if I could find one at an antique shop without having to pay thousands for it or hundreds for it, I would be more than happy to, right? This, so that is like one of the gems I found I was so happy to find because I was and that's another thing with antiquing if you could like list down all the things that you're looking for so when you do go antiquing you know exactly what you're looking for then just not have anything written down or not have any idea of what you want because what, what happens is you know when you go in there you're picking up stuff that you didn't even come for and next thing you know something that's supposed to be cheap and it being expensive because you buy all these other unnecessary things that you probably not even going to use so always make a list of what you want and there are certain things that i want i want to i want to cop i want copper box right i want that i want uh, a, a brass pepper mill um uh, i want if i could find that mirror that i'm telling you about the bigger one i would love that um there's a couple of other things that i want so let's see what gems we see at the um antique shop and we're going to three different places <laughs> I'm disappointed. I was actually looking forward to this place. I mean, look at this. It's called Decker Paris. I was looking forward to it, but we don't know where the, oh. We know where it is. Um, we, we are here, we do know where it is. We know where it is, but I don't know. Let me ask this guy. Oh, just, excuse me, yeah. question, do you know? Well, that's an L for the first location. Because the guy's not even answering anymore. We just send you straight to voice now. Waste of gas. Let's see. Are they here? I need to check. Contact. Push. Yeah. No. Uh, nope. Big corn is here. Yeah. <laughs> Could always count on that one. Yeah, guys, I'm so I'm so disappointed because when I look at the pictures, that gen is so fire. They look like they have some great antiques, um, but unfortunately, um, I think they moved to um, Albuquerque because we couldn't find it. So we are going to another one that's close by. Hopefully, I find some gems. I don't know. If, uh, What's the name of this place? Big reuse. I've been here before. They have some really cool stuff. If you have patience to dig through the stuff, it's, you can find some gems. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, but let's see. They actually used to be a different location, but they moved to the biggest spot. But my husband liked the other location better. Aesthetics. Yeah. So this one. Guys, look at this tajin. So Jean, um, this is Moroccan. Moroccan's cooking this. I always wanted one, but bro, this just gotta be a mistake. This, cause no, unless it's for the whole set. If it's a whole set, okay. But yeah, that one's pretty cool. Yeah, the whole set, it's still a lot, I, but no. Oh, look at Moses. Come through Moses. Guys, okay, say hi to Moses. Five for one dollar. So, I hate you. I hate you. All my life, I had to fight. You see, if you're a handy person and you can see past what you see. Hey, go ahead, speak on it now. 
If you could see past what you see with the natural eye, uh -huh. go ahead, break it down, break it down. What you, you saying? You have some gems in your hand, okay? Mm -hmm. You, you see, some... man looks on the outside, uh -huh. but God looks on the inside. Mm, he sees what could be. You may see, see what was. Or what is. Mm. And they got doors. Mm. <laughs> but are these doors that no man can shut is the question. <laughs> Cutting boards. Don't you love the cutting boards? I mean, that's for a big family. That's for a damn moose. You guys, look, this is so cute. A little espresso cup, if not, a little coffee. Drink coffee like an Italian or a French where it's not in a big jug in the, like we do in America, you know? Because we're just so excessive. But this is cute, and I think these are a dollar. I'm not asking y'all what y'all think, I'm telling you what I think. But I think it's cute. So, we just came from Big Reuse. Big Reuse is a hit or miss. Um, didn't find anything crazy. I was hoping to find some great, like, you know, vintage, beautifully constructed uh, silverware, but no. But I got the two, the three glass that I picked up. Really, I like I like it. It's really really nice. Um, I love this uh, the shape of it, the design on it, nice and thick, so I don't have to worry about you know it breaking easily. Um, it would be great. You know, you guys know I shoot videos, so it's good for like my coffees and my teas because it's glass and can see through it. Um, so yeah, I got the ingots on that was that was um three thousand twenty five cents for all three. So it's like a, I guess a dollar and some change each. Um, so yeah, that was good. Um, not that I need any more clubs, but you know, it's cute. Um, yeah, so another one of my favorite vintage finds is uh, my credenza. <laughs> my cousin was laughing whenever I say it like that, or a media table. Uh, I got that from Brooklyn, no, Bedford Galleries for really, um, I think it was a reasonable price because media tables or media consoles I should say consoles are really expensive it goes in, into the thousands I got mine for six or broken down to six um, it is beautiful like the leather trim not the trimming the leather in it is gorgeous the gold knobs is beautiful like I think it's walnut walnut wood and it, it's just for something this is why I love antique shopping and get antique furniture because they honestly don't make it as good as as they used to. The materials, even if they make it as good, sometimes it's so much money because the, those materials don't come around that often, you know. And like, like first of all, okay, for instance, when you look at a porcelain or ceramic sink, right? Let's say a porcelain sink. Compare a porcelain sink to a metal sink. I know it's old oh, steel sink is in and that's it's newly renovated and steel. It's cute. But I prefer a porcelain sink because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so durable. It's so sturdy. Like, bro, right? They don't make it as they used to anymore. That's why I really like antiquing. Um, because it's like you find them old school stuff, or the old time stuff, and it's like you pay cheaper than what you, you pay now at a regular store uh, you know for modern things with less good quality um and it's just i just you know i just i just love it so um yeah when it came when it comes to like vintage silverware and dinnerware it took me a little bit because i was just like some of that you know just kind of nasty but you know what sometimes some of these not you know you see the old people that have a whole cabinet full of uh, of glasses and plates and all that stuff half the times it goes unused you know but sometimes you do find some gems where it was not unused like one of the um those cups i picked it up because you could tell it was unused and this there's, there's still like sticker marks on the cup you know so if you see ones with scratches the plates with scratches leave it alone but you actually could find some new ones that people just never used it and just gave it to the thrift store or gave it to the antique shop to sell because they didn't want it, right? They declutter or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, my credenza or media console, I cannot wait to use it. It is very spacious. We can actually pack, no, we live in New York. Space is hard to come by. So, we can use it to pack like things inside. So, I cannot 
weight to actually put it to use and it's big enough to fit that big old TV because we just got a new TV because our other TV just pieced out on us out of nowhere. Um, so yeah, on to the next spot. We're going to another spot, right? I learned my lesson. I had to call them to make sure they're uh, open before I go because I wasn't trying to be disappointed again. Just too much disappointment one day. I can't take it. So they're open. This place is a little expensive. So I, I don't think I'm going to get anything from here, but they do have some really cool stuff. Um, and they have really weird hours. It's not consistent, unfortunately. They open at 2.30. Like, who does that? But so, I don't know. I'm hoping I find something copper, like a copper... Something, you know what I'm trying to say? But that's expensive. But let's see what we get. Let's see if I can find some napkins. <laughs> right, see maybe if I can find some dust. Napkins and a straw. <laughs> <laughs> I can find some dust, okay? A Parisian dust. <laughs> a bag of bag in a little pocket. Oh, let's see. This is fun. It's black on too, by the way. How you doing? Guys, that place is so amazing. Like, it, it actually made me, it, it, it replaced the whole Parisian place that I couldn't get, find. But guys, I went there years ago, but I was younger and it was just too, I didn't live on my own. The stuff was way too expensive for me. I couldn't afford it, but so it was just a tease. But now I'm a little older, I can afford those something, something. And I'm just like, yo, they have such unique pieces. Like, I want the brass basket. I want that, uh, 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 what else? I want that pedestal, that marble pedestal. Some freaking gorgeous. What else did I like? Everything. Everything. <laughs> I like everything. He didn't like I like everything. And you know what, guys? You remember I said you have to know what you're looking for? So when you go in there, you're not wasting money on nonsense. I want a copper pot. I want a copper pot. I don't want to do all of it vintage or antique. I want to do, because... I do want to do new modern ones so I can pass it down to my children. But I wasn't expecting to actually find it, yo. Like, that's crazy. And you know the great thing I like about these kind of places? It was $200. I know to other people, it's just like, whoa, that's a lot of money. But car pass is like $500 and up, okay? Do you $500 and up. So I asked the guy, yo, can I give you $150 for this? He said, yeah. I wasn't expecting him to say, yeah. I was expecting expect him to be like, no, my father... He said yes, so I got $50 off, oh, shoot. I should have tried 100 and then when it's 150. Next time, next time. All right, so the last spot that we're going to, like, leave it to me, I can go to multiple spots today, but you know, we got things to do. The last spot I'm going to now is, um, another place is called, I like Mike. Okay, never been there before. Um, these last two places we went to, I've been there before, but this, this is brand new, so I've never been there before. Um, so I'm excited to see what they have. Hopefully they'll open. They don't surprise me in that sense. Um, and hopefully find a gem. If you notice, I've been picking up some, something from each place. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to go to that place. And one, my favorite, 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 favorite vintage find. Out of all the vintage or antique pieces I've been telling you about is my antique King Arthur chairs. Oh my gosh. You see, I got no words coming up. I love those chairs. I think those chairs are so beautiful. They're so beautiful. 
And what makes that one so special and so amazing is I did not pay for it. We found them in the streets of New York. Crazy. We went to church and we took a path or a route that we usually do not take. But for some reason, we took that path. And we needed dining chairs at the time. And God heard our prayers. And he's like, you know what? Literally, when he was walking, he said, oh, go down this, this street. Turn this corner. And we were walking, me and my husband, we were talking. And I go past these chairs. I said, wait a minute. Buy the garbage. I'm going to wait. And there was a, luckily, there was somebody, Um, I think a, a person that worked in the building was going back into the building. I said, wait, is somebody throwing this out? He's like, yeah. Um, And it, he, he was like. Oh, Brook, Brook, um, Bedford Gallery is another NT spot. Amazing. Um, they have really cool stuff too. I like that's where I got the um, credenza from. But anyway, but he was like, yeah, the lady that put it out, she have really good stuff and she take care of her stuff and she's always putting out good furniture. I'm like, you're freak. I said, like, is she sure she want to get rid of this? Cause this is amazing. And he's like, yeah, she take it. And I'll just and and my husband was like, oh, um, so do you want to go home and come back with a, with a bigger? I said. Like, no, you going do you want to? He asked if I should, if one was to a car and get it. I was like, so somebody else could take it? Absolutely not. And I examined it to make sure you know there's no bugs or tears or whatever. If it, I want to know if I had to get it upholstered, but it was in beautiful, perfect shape. Because and the guy said this, the whoever threw it out, I guess he knows her, really take care of her stuff, and he did not lie. There was no rips, no stains, no nothing. It didn't even have a funky smell. And she was throwing it out. And it was all six pieces. The gentleman chair, the uh, the regular chair. And I was just like, no freaking way you're throwing this thing out. Oh, I love theories. Oh, look at that coffee table. Anyway, I said, there's no freaking way that you're, sell, um, you're getting rid of this. So it was free. And then when I got home, I Googled how much these King Arthur chairs cost. And it was like, I think all together to, to, uh, for the ones that I have, it was like, it'll come up to like $10,000 and then or a little bit over ten thousand dollars. I'm like, Miss, what? You 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 sure you wanna? I said, Girl, just take these. I mean, I said I became a uh, expert packer because there's no way. Because they didn't know that he was gonna take all of it. He thought he was gonna take some. I said, What? No, you're taking all of it. He said, This is not going to fit in the car. I said, Watch me work. I fit every single. I fit six pieces of chairs in the regular old car. My favorite antique find ever because it was. It was exactly what it is. A find. We found that. And I love those chairs. And I hope to keep those chairs forever and ever and pass down to my children if they want it. But I love those chairs. And it was free. Can you believe that? Oh. Just butterflies inside. I love them. Look at the details. Look at the intricacy. Like, they don't make it like that anymore. <sighs> okay. That's all I got. I'm done. So now we're going to a place called I Like Mike, but this is somebody's home. These, I ain't going for it. <laughs> I kind of want to stick with the same antique places that I know because these new places are weird. And very, it's just weird. <laughs> but it's somebody's home. Let me cover my, me and my husband, with, uh, uh, we're praying before we go in. Father God, come cover us. Which I'm going to protect us with us as we go to this place. Please. Like Mike, I don't know what these people do. Sell the bike. Domesticated. Don't judge a book by its cover. Oh wow! Wow. Again. Mm -hmm. And it's all priced with that in mind. Okay. 
So uh, the, I've watches as well. The watches are 99, the Seikos that you're looking right there at, mm -hmm. and then I have to your right Timexes and then in the case, and then are the revolving case, and then the big cases are Scoggins. Or they all have their own sort of vintage um, value. I think I have a, a, a particularly uh, obsessive personality. Yeah. <laughs> and I like to fix things. Oh. I like to bring things back that you know, right. most people might have let go. Mm. You know, mm. that sort of thing. And I, I don't know, I think I like the idea of not uh, ever seeing the same thing twice, you know. It keeps me interested. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I love about your teaching. Yeah, you, just, you, you don't just, know what you're going to see. You're not going to see. What you see is like very rare. Right, so right. Like, yeah, it keeps, it keeps you interested. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that's part of it, but the nice grass. Oh, this is so cool. I do have an umbrella stand in the front, though, that really is. I don't see it. Yeah, it's right at the front of the door when you come in. Look, it's girls when they're playing on your desk. Oh. Fun on your supper. Yeah, I love that. You have a little obsession with queens. Fun on your supper. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's so cool. We really got some really dope. This is another class that's so cool. Well, we got another favorite place. I know, right? Another shocker. <laughs> um. I'm saying another because something that we just experienced earlier this week with underestimating places and I did not expect to find such amazing things in there. But it is a first of all, he uses the whole basement to make it a store. That's like freaking basement, that's like the first floor. The first floor, I should say, yeah. That's smart as heck. That's very, very smart. Um, so they have he have amazing piece. I really wanted that hat. I was willing to pay like forty for it. But because he he knows what he got, okay, he ain't one of those that just have a gem in their hand and he's just like, what is this? He knows what he got, but um, so that one he said it was like three ninety nine. There's no way, um, but if it was forty dollars, fifty dollars, I get it. If it there's wasn't, history behind it. there's history behind it. It's real metal, like oh, that was, I would look so fire with some nice outfit, man. But I wasn't paying for that. Um, it costs more than my pot. There's no way, um. But yeah, the, some stuff are expensive, and the Seiko um watches that you have is very unique. I have not. It, it's like a, uh, it's so beautiful. I'm just like, yeah, definitely want some of your watches, for sure. So he, I would definitely go to him for watches. Uh, he has some good artwork. In there artwork, too. but you know, I told you about the movie watches. Um, certain lamps because he has some nice glass lamps. It was pretty cool. If I need another candle snuffer, which I don't. Definitely, because he had another nice ones I haven't seen. Um, I definitely want a brass pepper mill if he gets that, you know. Um, because to buy a regular is like 150 200 dollars. That's ridiculous. I'm not paying for that, but it is not cheap. So, it's the thing, moral of the story is if you want something that's super unique that no one has, you can find it, you can get it. However, it is not going to be cheap, you're going to spend a pretty penny but a lot of these things have history behind it a lot of these and the reason i know this, the reason a lot of his stuff is expensive too because it's not just metal and it's not just regular plated anything it is real brass or you know it's not real gold but it's like a lot of stuff is brass and it's real so it's very heavy it's very sturdy and it's very durable so that runs up the price so wow i'm like i want to be like a millionaire like right now so I could get that big coffee machine thing at the spot and the brass basket. I really love that. And and, and this place just... <sighs> I'm happy. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy this. And you guys get into antiquing. Um, if you're not into it, hey, everybody's different. That's fine. But I just hope you guys enjoy it and see the benefits of antiquing. And finding the really cool, unique pieces. And... um. I'm so happy to learn that this is in Brooklyn. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, this is, I don't have to go to my hand or it's like, you know, in Brooklyn. 
um they're like gems they're real gems so i'm very happy and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share some antique places you like to go or even antique places that i have online you know let me know because yeah i'm on a mission okay bye <laughs>